Hello everyone and welcome to the course of Public Safety with LTE Network. So let's discuss about LTE features for the Public Safety Networks. So as in our last class we have discussed about these are the features. So today we are going to have detailed description of each and every one feature. So let's start with the very first feature which is Group Communications. Group communication is a feature which is available in release 12 of LTE. This is called as GCS as group communication service. Here we can use one to one which is also known as unicast and multicast which is one to many which is broadcast also. We will be able to send and receive voice, video or data traffic to multiple public safety devices here. So release 14 has added a single cell point to multipoint transmission as well. Now the broadcast mode that means from one end to many. The broadcast mode will employ EMBMS which is enhanced multimedia broadcast multicast services to use radio resources efficiently. But if the coverage is low that means if we are having low coverage area a unicast approach will deliver data more reliably. That means in case of good coverage we can use EMBMS whereas if the coverage is not good we can use unicast approach to transmit data reliably. The system will be able to dynamically switch between the unicast and the broadcast mode. So this is the group communication feature of public safety network. Let's move to the second feature which is proximity based services. Proximity based services we also call it as Pro-C. This feature is also defined in release 12. Here the user devices can communicate directly. That means here we are having a capability that deliver both consumers and public safety. This is also known as this type of services is also known as or communication is also known as side link communication. Here the consumer devices can find other devices only with assistance from the network as we say like this is device to device communication so the consumer devices can find other devices with assistance from the network but for public safety devices that means the two or more public safety devices will be able to communicate directly with one another independent of the network so we are having some proximity services like Pro C using device to device communication. We are having public safety applications. We can use these for commercial services. We can use for discovery of devices in proximity, that means in a range. Direct communication between devices. We can use for various applications and services. Here we can have like different services we can use in this feature like device to device communication, application, commercial services, in proximity, pro C applications and services. The next one is mission critical push to talk. Now in this application, it provides one to one, as we say, this is defined in release 30. It provides one to one and one to many push to talk communication services. This feature is available in 2018 time frame. Here the public safety organization will be able to consider retiring legacy voice based systems. That means we are going, we are not going to use the voice based systems. Here we can have critical push to talk communication. We are having mission critical with you over LT and data over LT which is defined in release 40. Now these are defined to work with mission critical push to talk services. Here it can give the first responder more communication options by transmitting video over LTE network and data on LTE network. Then let's move to the prioritization. To prevent interference that means in order to prevent interference with public safety operations in emergency situations which experience high load the network can prioritize at multiple levels. First, the network can bar consumer devices. That means the network can totally bar the devices from attempting to access the network. 
so if the network can bar these devices from attempting to access the network this that means it will reduce the signaling load secondly the network can prioritize radio resources giving the public safety users with high priority we are going to use a new capability which we call it as multimedia priority service mps here in multimedia priority service the network can prioritize a connection between emergency worker and a regular subscriber the finally which is the last the network can assign specific quality of service parameter to the traffic flows including gvr which stands for guaranteed bit rate 3gpp has defined specific quality of service classes for public safety as well high power this is defined in release 11 it defines the high power devices for the public safety band that can operate in 1.25 watts it improves the coverage and reduces the network deployment cost another feature next one as isolated operation isolated operation that means a base station can continue to offer services with the loss of backhaul that means if there is not availability of backhaul network a base station can continue to offer service because this is this could be used for the public safety network so we can use this for disaster situations also now we are having relays in relays we can have it is defined in release 8 Thank you so much.